Hello guys, welcome to CSAT with Jason. So in this video, we'll be talking about the concept of simple equations. If you like the video, please do subscribe, share and support. So let's start with the video. So firstly, let us see what is an equation. So an equation is a process in which something is equated to another thing. For example, I'll give you an example. Let's say x plus y is equal to 10. Here you have in left hand side you have x plus y and in right hand side you have 10. So we are equating x plus y with 10. So this is called an equation. So in this equation we don't know the value of x and y, right? So here x and y are called variables. Okay, so here x and y are variables. So this is an equation. We have one equation and we have two variables x and y. So if you have one equation but you if you have more than one variables then it is not possible for you to find the value of the variables here so since you have got only one equation in this example you cannot find the exact value of x and y if you want to find the value of x and y since there are two variables you need to have two equations as well so let's take another equation like like let's say y is equal to 4x now in this case you have first equation as x plus y is equal to 10 and in the second equation you have y is equal to 4x so now you have two equations and you have two variables x and y in this case you can find the value of x and y okay so let us solve these two equations you know that y is equal to 4x so substitute this in the equation 1 so you will get x plus 4x is equal to 10 or 5x is equal to 10 then you will get x is equal to 2 then y is equal to 4x right that is 4 into 2 which means y is equal to 8 so this is how you need to solve uh, uh, variables when you are given some equations okay so when it comes to upsc questions uh, the most important thing is that you need to understand the problem about equations and then you need to convert the, those uh, questions into uh, equations that's the most important thing then you need to solve the equations okay we'll be doing some examples in this uh, video as well so now you need to look into some important formula re regarding equations okay uh, you might have already studied these uh, formulas in your lower classes uh, let's look into these equations okay so a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab this uh, you might be knowing then a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab then you have like a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so this is actually very important because UPSC has repeatedly asked questions using uh, this equation, this formula. Okay, then a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. a plus b whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Then a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube. Also, if you have an equation like ax square bx plus c is equal to 0, if you have an equation which is in the form a square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, that means you have uh, an x square in the term, then uh, the solution for x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by uh, 2a. Okay, so this is actually the uh, solution for the uh, this kind of equations. So let's take an example here. If you are given like 2x square plus x is equal to 21. So first, firstly you need to write this in this form. So let's uh, write that in this form. You will get 2x square plus x minus 21 is equal to 0. So here if you compare these two uh, equations. Here a is equal to 2. B is equal to 1. And c is equal to minus 21. Right. So let's uh, the solution will be x is equal to minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. That means minus 1 plus or minus root of b square is 1 square which will become 1 then minus 4 into 2 into minus 21 divided by a is 2. So 2 into 2 will be 4. So this will become minus 1 plus or minus root of it will become 1 plus uh, 21 into 4 is 84 into 2 is 1 uh, 68 divided by 4 
so that means minus 1 plus or minus root of 169 divided by 4 okay so this will become minus 1 plus or minus 13 by 4 because root of 169 is 13 so if you put plus you will get minus 1 plus 13 by 4 that is 12 by 4 uh, which is 3 if you put uh, minus here that is minus 1 minus 13 by 4 you will get minus 14 by 4 or it is equal to minus 7 by 2 so there will be two solutions for x in this case so this is how you need to uh, find out the um, solution for x if you are given an equation in the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so now let's look into the equations of the form x square minus y square so in this type of question you need to use this formula that is x square minus y square is equal to x plus y into x minus y okay so i have given you a question in order to make you understand how you need to do, do these kind of problems so i have taken a question from upsc 2020 how many pairs of natural numbers are there such that the difference between whose squares is 63 so here the term natural number that is very important okay i will tell you why so the difference between the squares is 63 so let's say that our natural numbers are x and y and it has given that x square minus y square is equal to 63 right so here you know that x square minus y square is equal to x plus y into x minus y and this is equal to 63 so x plus y is a number and x minus y is also a number so we need to write 63 as multiples of two numbers and we know that 63 is equal to 1 into 63 63 is also is equal to 3 into 21 also 63 is equal to 9 into 7 so these are the two numbers right x plus y and x minus y so here we got two numbers 1 and 63 so just equate x minus y is equal to 1 and x plus y is equal to 63 so just add these two equation you will get 2x is equal to 64 and x is equal to 32 which means that y is equal to x minus 1 that is 31 so 32 square minus 31 square you will get 63 okay so that's what x square minus y square is equal to 63 means so secondly just equate these two things that means just equate x plus y is equal to 21 and x minus y is equal to 3 then just add these two numbers then uh, equations you will get 2x is equal to 24 x is equal to 12 so x minus y is equal to 3 that means y is equal to 9 so 12 square minus 9 square will also be 63 and then now just equate the last one that is x plus y is equal to 9 and x minus y is equal to 7 just add then you will get 2x is equal to 16 x is equal to 8 then you will get y is equal to 1 so x square minus y square is equal to 63 means uh, 32 square minus 31 square this is the one possibility then we got another possibility as 12 square minus 9 square and another possibility as 8 square minus 1 square okay so there are three possibilities here so option a is the right answer so i will tell you a trick here in order to find the solutions for these kind of problems very easily okay so what we have done in this question was that we found out different possibilities in how we can write 63 as multiples of two numbers so i am taking another example in order to make you understand about this trick let's assume x square minus y square is equal to 64 here you need to find out the uh, number of pairs number of pairs of natural numbers which is possible for the uh, x and y okay so here you need to write 64 as multiples of two numbers so 64 is equal to 1 into 64 2 into 32 4 into 16 and also 8 into 8 so what you need to understand here is that uh, first let us uh, put these two values that is 1 and 64 so x plus y is equal to 64 and x minus y is equal to 1 so you will get 2x is equal, if you add these two equation you will get 2x is equal to 65 and x is equal to 32.5 so here you got a decimal so since decimal are not natural numbers so this you cannot consider as a solution okay so if you are writing 64 as multiples of different numbers and the sum of these two numbers 1 plus 64 is 
an odd number 65 is an odd number if you get an odd number you cannot consider this as a possibility because it will come as a decimal okay so this is not a possibility in this case and if you can uh, if you consider the second set that is 2 and 32 2 plus 32 is an even number 34 so this you can consider as a possibility then 4 plus 16 is 20 again an even number so you can consider this as a possibility now let's take the case of 8 so let's substitute 8 here here x plus y is, all, uh, is also equal to 8 and x minus y is also equal to 8 so if you add these two equations you will get 2x is equal to 16 and x is equal to 8 and you will get y is equal to 0 so since y is equal to 0 it is not a natural number okay y equal to 0 is a whole number 0 is a whole number so this also you cannot consider as a solution because the question has asked how many pairs of natural number are possible if the question was how many pairs of whole sorry whole number is possible then you could take this as a solution that means if the question was how many pairs of natural numbers are there such that the difference between the square is 64 you have two possibility okay then if the question was how many pair of whole numbers are possible such that the difference of the squares is 64 then this also you can consider as a possibility so this you need to remember in solving these kind of problems so now let us solve some problems regarding uh, simple equations from UPSC okay so this is a UPSC 2022 question a has some coins he gives half of the coins and two more to b b gives half of the coins and two more to c c gives half of the coins and two more to d the number of coins d has now is the smallest two digit number how many coins does a have in the beginning so here a gives half of the coins and two more to b that means b is equal to a by two which is half of a plus two more right and similarly c is equal to b by 2 plus 2 right then d is equal d is equal to c by 2 plus 2 and it has given that the number of coins d has is the smallest two digit number what is the smallest two digit number it is 10 that means this is equal to 10 so from this equation you can find out c okay c plus 2 is equal to 10 minus 2 8 sorry c by 2 is equal to 8 then c is equal to 16 now you got c is equal to 16 substitute this in this equation okay that means b by 2 plus 2 is equal to 16 so you will get b by 2 is equal to 14 and b is equal to 28 now you got b is equal to 28 you substitute it here that means 28 is equal to a by 2 plus 2 so a by 2 is equal to 26 and a is equal to 52 the question has asked how many coins a has in the beginning so a has 52 coins option d is the right answer okay now uh, let us consider another question this is also a question from upsc 2022 five friends p q x y and z purchase some notebooks the relevant information is given below z purchased eight notebooks more than x did so from here what equation you can write z purchased eight notebooks more than x did that means z is equal to x plus 8 now p and q together purchased 21 notebooks that means p plus q is equal to 21 q purchased 5 notebooks less than p did okay q purchased 5 notebook less than p that means q is equal to p minus 5 then x and y together purchased 28 notebooks that means x plus y is equal to 28 p purchased 5 notebooks more than x that means p is equal to x plus 5 okay so if you see these two equation here you have two variables p and q so from these two equation you can find out what p and q are right so we know that p plus q is equal to 21 and q is equal to p minus 5 so substitute q as p minus 5 that means p plus p minus 5 is equal to 21 2 p is equal to 26 and p is equal to 13 okay so from here q is equal to p minus uh, 5 so q is equal to 13 minus 5 which is equal to 8 so you got p is equal to 13 and q is equal to 8 okay so now let us take this equation so p is equal to x plus 5 
okay so x uh, p you got as 13 that means 13 is equal to x plus 5 then x is equal to 13 minus 5 which is equal to 8 so x also you got as 8 right now take the first equation which says that z is equal to x plus 8 so x is 8 that means z is equal to 8 plus 8 which is equal to 16 so z is equal to 16 then you have take the final equation which says x plus y is equal to 28 x plus y is equal to 28 then you know that x is 8 right so y is equal to 28 minus 8 which is equal to 20 so y is equal to 20 so now we know how many notebooks each of the friends purchased now each notebook is priced at 40 what is the total cost of notebook so you need to find out the total number of notebooks so just add these things that is 13 plus 8 plus 8 plus 16 plus 20 so 3 plus 8 11 19 25 3 4 and 6 so total number of notebooks is 65 so the total cost will be 65 into 40 so 65 into 4 is uh, 20 4 into 6 24 20, 260 and 1 0 that means 2600 is the right answer option a is the right answer okay so now let's take another example in an objective type test of 90 questions five marks are all allotted for every correct answer and two marks are deducted for every wrong answer after attempting all the 90 questions a student got a total of 387 mark what is the number of incorrect responses so let's assume that to student has made x right answers then how many wrong answers he have made it will be 90 minus x because he have written all the questions he have written attempted all the 90 questions so if x is the number of uh, right answers 90 minus x will be the number of wrong answers so now here five marks he got for every correct answer so correct number of correct answer is x so total marks he got for right answers is 5x okay then for every wrong answer that is every 90 minus x question he got minus 2 marks so minus 2 into 90 minus x so this will be his total marks which is equal to 387 okay so 5x minus 180 plus 2x is equal to 387 okay 5x plus 2x is 7x 7 is equal to 387 plus 180 so 387 plus 180 is equal to 7 16 567 so we will get 567 so x is equal to 567 divided by 7 which is equal to 81 this is the x is 81 that means number of right answer is 81 so number of wrong answer is equal to 90 minus 81 which is equal to 9 so answer is option a 9 okay so uh, thank you guys if you like this video please do subscribe share and support i'll be coming with more videos in the future thank you